Hey there, Marcus here with Black Ovis. We are at ATA 2022 today, and we have been visiting the booths. We are stopping by Grim Reaper, and we noticed our good friend Mark Skousen here. He's been working the booth today, and we wanted to talk to him about two of his favorite broadheads. He does a lot of hunting in, in other states as well as his home state, and we know that those re have different requirements as far as broadheads go. So we wanted him to tell us a little bit about his two favorite picks and why he chooses them. Okay, cool. Well, uh, super fun to be at ATA. I know it was canceled last year, so it's fun to be out and uh, mixing with the, the crowd again. So um, I'm from Utah, and uh, Marcus is right. I hunt in, in a bunch of different states. Um, last few years, I've been hunting in Idaho, and Idaho has, has a special requirement for broadhead use. It has to be a fixed blade broadhead. So um, my favorite fixed blade broadhead is called a Hades. It's a Pro Series Hades. Um, they make this in a three and a four blade. I actually prefer the three blade. Um, the reason I pick uh, certain broadheads is obviously flight characteristics, cutting diameter. Uh, that's kind of a hard balance with yeah. fixed blade broadheads because you can run into planing issues. Um, but this particular broadhead flies really, really well for me. Um, it's super sharp. It's got a very durable tip. Um, this Pro Series tip's awesome. Um, I actually shoot a, a pretty heavy front of center arrow. I shoot a 150 grain version of this head, and then I have like a 55 grain outsert, so I'm almost like 200 grains on the front of my arrow. Um, but uh, that's why I shoot this. This particular head has kind of uh, sharpened edges on the back as well, so if you didn't get a pass through and the arrow tried to back out, it would do some damage and cut. The real key, it's an inch and, inch and 3 16 so pretty good size cut, but no planing issues. As long as your bow's turn, tuned right, uh, this is this is shot really, really well for me. So awesome. That's why I'm shooting that head. I'm not opposed to mechanical heads. Uh, my primary species is elk, so I will shoot a fixed blade for elk, um, but a lot of people have great success with mechanicals, and this is one of my favorites from Grim Reaper. This is actually just the standard Pro Series mechanical broadhead. Why I like this, it's got an inch and three eighths cut, so not a crazy big cut. You still get really good penetration, but you can see the blade angle on this head is really swept back, which really helps with penetration. Because oh, yeah. that can be a concern with mechanical broadheads. If you have a if you have a mechanical broadhead that has its blades that only sweep back to there, it's gonna inhibit penetration. But if you yeah. can get them to sweep back, you're still getting a really good cut. Um, again, this has the same Pro Series tip on it. Um, Pretty durable head, never had any issues with them opening. Um, so that's my favorite mechanical broadhead if I'm gonna shoot a mechanical. So. Awesome, thank you. Well, I can attest to uh, Mark's hunting abilities as I've seen many animals that he's brought down. Um, if you've used these broadheads in the past and you have certain thoughts about them, let us know what you think. And let us know if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them.